While playing League of Legends, there has probably come a time where you got puked on more than an Asian girl in a 2 girls 1 cup video. So you ask yourself, why the hell do I play this game? But more importantly, who the fuck is Kog'Maw? Kog'Maw is the Megatron of League of Legends. With the press of a button, you go from being an ugly green creature that resembles the girl you kissed in college as a drunken dare, to an unstoppable death machine hell-bent on making everyone on the enemy team put their fist balls deep in the center of their monitor. <laughs> Well, if you get off on Asian girls covered in bodily fluids, or just generally enjoy making people destroy the things that they love, then you may want to consider playing him. Kog'Maw's lore goes like this. Kog'Maw is a creature of the Void who crossed over into Akathia when the prophet Malzahar was reborn. Kog'Maw is drawn to Malzahar kind of like how Miley Cyrus is drawn to bad decisions. When he arrived, Kog'Maw was confused and intrigued by everything in this world, so he did the only thing he knew how. He ate that shit like a Chinese buffet during half-price lunch. Not much else is known about Kog'Maw. On to Kog'Maw's abilities. Kog'Maw's passive is, fuck you, you're coming with me. See, I bet you thought I was going to make an Al-Qaeda joke there, but I figured it would just blow up in my face. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll just, I'll just go. I'm sorry. When you die, you have a couple of seconds where you can run around before you explode, dealing damage to everything in a small radius around you. As Kog'Maw, you are squishier than baby shit after taco night, so get used to seeing this passive a lot. Kog'Maw's Q is the most useless skill in the game. Seriously, just, just don't use this thing. If you do, you deserve to lose the game because any time you waste casting your Q, it's time you could have spent rapid fire auto attacking and raining hell down on everything that opposes you. Kog'Maw's W is say goodbye to everything you love. Upon activation, Kog'Maw starts vomiting more than the entire cast of America's Next Top Model after trying to hide their crippling depression and daddy issues by binging at the Cheesecake Factory and drinking a full glass of Ipecac. All jokes aside, this is the only skill you really need to use as Kog'Maw. Just press W and things disappear, it's that simple. Kog'Maw's E is, Why the fuck did I not press W? It's meant to serve as a way to keep people from closing the gap and turning you into a walking IED. But targets that are an immediate threat don't give a shit about your slow, and targets that aren't an immediate threat would die faster if you just FUCKING PRESS W! Finally, Kog'Maw's ultimate is, if you don't want to take out your anger on puppies at the nearest humane society yet, you will now. Kog'Maw fires an artillery-style projectile in the air that rains down at a target location. This skill has the longest range of all your abilities, and considering how your W's range is classified as far as fuck, this range is impressive. The projectile has different tiers of damage based on how much health the enemy is missing. So not only does the base damage increase, but the ratios increase too, the less health the unit has. I can only assume this is because Riot worships Satan and believes in creating abilities that will drive even the most strong-willed person into a psychotic rage-fueled episode where they black out and wake up days later covered in six people's blood behind the counter of the nearest Chipotle. I mean seriously. As if Kog'Maw doesn't do enough fucking damage as it is by attacking faster than the game even allows, he also gets a projectile that is designed to do nothing but make you feel like you narrowly escaped death, giving you a sense of hope, only to have this cancer-causing ability fall on your head and destroy every positive memory you ever cherished and replace them with thoughts of mass genocide. Little known fact, the child that fell into Harambe's cage was actually thrown in by his mother after facing a Kog'Maw in all three of her silver promos and getting her asshole destroyed repeatedly. Rest in peace, Harambe. You died because Riot creates champions that are designed to give aids to everyone who has even the slightest amount of happiness in their life. Okay, let's go over the pros and cons of this fucked up champion. Pros. You are allowed to break the rules of the game and attack faster than anybody else does. You do a metric fuck ton of damage, and you will win a lot and develop extremely narcissistic tendencies thinking you are the only way your team can ever win, and if you lose, it's because every other member of your team was born with fucking down syndrome. So basically, you'll just turn into a Riven main. Now for the cons. You run as fast as Forrest Gump before he took the leg braces off. If the enemy team has an assassin, you might as well just sit in the corner of your room and shove a bottle of bleach up your ass, cause you're not playing League that day. And playing this champion will make your opponents want to rape more women than the Duke Lacrosse team. But who are you kidding? Elo is all you care about, so spam the fuck out of Kog'Maw and repress the thoughts of every domestic violence case you just caused cause this motherfucker wins games. 
Yes, I just made a joke about 9-11, the Duke lacrosse team, and domestic violence all in one sentence. My mother is definitely unsubscribing after this video. Now for his looks. Kogmaw looks like Oprah fucked Honey Boo Boo's mom and their child somehow got Aerosmith's mouth. Luckily, he has some pretty cool skins. There's the, you'll grow up to be a pretty princess lie that moms tell their daughters skin. The, let's take a bunch of money from Asian players skin. The actually pretty original and scientifically accurate skin. The, we are totally selling out for money based off of a cool franchise skin. And the everything looks cooler metal plated with flames shooting out of its skin. And on to Kogmaw's gameplay. In game, your job is to play as safe as possible until late game hits and you have four items and can kill the entire enemy team in three seconds. If the enemy team has any assassins, you're going to die every three minutes. When you do, it's mandatory that you run directly at your opponent while screaming ISIS catchphrases. Allah Akbar! I can see your wife's whore ankles! That's really all I could think of that a terrorist would scream before blowing up their bomb. I, I tried to Google ISIS catchphrases, and I I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm on the, the FBI watch list, and I'm, I'm banned from the internet now, so yeah, fuck me. If the enemy team doesn't have an assassin, and you are somehow able to make it to late game, it's time to grab the KY jelly and lube up, because you're going in raw. Stand behind your front line, let them engage the fight, then click W and shove your non-mouse hand down your pants because you're going to want to be touching yourself when you get rock hard and jizz all over the enemy team while the game shouts pentakill in your ear like the Taiwanese hooker that you pay every Friday. If any enemies happen to survive your explosive ejaculation, it's time to track them down and drop your ultimate down on their head like a stealth fighter leveling Hitler's house. Then you, you just win because nobody on the enemy team really wants to play anymore. Now it's time for the most important part of this video, which is my overall rating for this champion. This champion causes more cancer than a maternity ward placed inside a nuclear power plant with a microwave running 24-7. But he is fun as fuck to play, and watching everyone get AIDS in front of you is super satisfying. So for my overall rating, I have to give him 9 Magic Johnsons. So, if all you care about is winning and you can get over the fact that every time you play this champion you are putting your opponents in a concentration camp, then this champion is undoubtedly for you. So yell fuck and Frank while you slam the lock in button and get ready to enjoy yourself. Now to wrap this baby up. For those of you keeping track, I made jokes about Asian bodily fluid porn, Miley Cyrus, Al-Qaeda, bulimia, animal abuse, Satanism, cancer twice, Genocide, Harambe, Riven Mains, Suicide, Rape, The Duke Lacrosse Team, Domestic Violence, ISIS, Masturbation, Foreign Hookers, Hitler, AIDS, and Anne Frank. Final tally? We can do better. So if this video offended you in any way, I hope that next time Santa Claus comes to drop off presents at your house, he also drops a nice fat creamy load on your mother's face. Peace.